हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू आस्क द हल्क शो विद श्रे शर्मा द होस्ट ऑफ सेल्सो हल्क चैनल एपिसोड नंबर इज रिटर्न ओवर हेयर So today we have got a question, a very interesting question from Raghav Kharbanda, and uh, the title says, "Need your help regarding a career choice." Uh, the thing is, uh, so he 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 writes down, "Hi Shrey, uh, I have been following your YouTube channel since a while, and you uh, wanted to ask a little help from you, which could turn out to be very beneficial for me. First of all, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I've been working in Infosys for the last 2.5 years, uh, and have worked on and have knowledge of both Salesforce development, Sales Cloud, and Marketing Cloud development." Now where I'm stuck and need your help is currently I have two offers both from leading MNCs uh, where one profile is of marketing cloud bracket a period wipro and one is of salesforce developer bracket deloitte I just wanted to know as a career option which of the two profiles are better for a long term career growth compensation etc and is it difficult or hard to switch between the two later on in my career or find a profile which uses both maybe I've uh, heard that compensation and growth are better in marketing cloud since the number of opportunities are more and people with the right skills are less but I like sales of development more as it involves more coding in my experience I may be wrong and I like to code build logic to be exact uh, I just want to know the co- comparison between these two profiles in terms of compensation growth opportunities and what would you recommend in my case taking in consideration both the profiles and, organ- and the organization any information that you could uh, provide me in this would be of immense help to me thank you in advance for giving your time I know you must be super busy and thank you for all the information and videos that you post online they're really helpful thanks man okay so uh, let's uh, divide this question into certain aspects uh, so raghav basically wants to know what would be the better option for him so in this question raghav has given us a lot of parameters based on which we need to compare both the profiles so let's start with the first one compensation salesforce developer salesforce marketing cloud professional for now uh, the compensation for a marketing cloud developer or marketing cloud expert or professional is uh, comparatively higher than being of a salesforce developer and again it's a uh, simple economics the demand for marketing cloud experts are higher into the market and the professionals who are expert into it or who are actually experienced into it are less hence the compensation is higher so the second parameter based on which we need to do the comparison between a salesforce developer as well as a marketing cloud professional is growth growth is a very subjective term to different different people some people expect growth in terms of compensation some people expect growth in terms of uh, knowledge and the skill sets that they are going to attain some people expect growth in terms of the opportunities that they might get that's that's a very generic term and it's very subjective to different different people let's talk about when it comes to when it comes to uh, growth in terms of skill set or in terms of the knowledge and the exposure that you're going to get it's definitely higher uh, the exposure when you talk about the exposure it's higher on the marketing cloud uh, side compared to the uh, developer side why because you'll be getting into more uh, client interactions uh, where you'll be actually solving the problems that the businesses are facing out there in the world and you'll be helping them solve that problem so that's the kind of exposure that you're going to get while uh, working as a marketing cloud professional but while working as a developer uh, you you might not get those kind of exposures but uh, you're going to get opportunities to learn and attain new skill sets new languages and uh, you'll be getting opportunities to write code also when you talk about growth uh, and the opportunities associated with it which is the third parameter um if you're working as a salesforce developer and if you want to keep your options open into other technologies and other uh, companies or other yeah other technologies or platforms as well later on in the uh, future it will be better it would be better for you to go towards the developer side rather than going into the marketing cloud side because that's more of a specific knowledge that you're getting Uh, which is completely related to a particular product of Salesforce. When b- while uh, you're working as a developer, you're learning different different types of languages. You're learning different different type of technologies. You're integrating it with different different products. So the exposure in terms of the technology, the coding part, and uh, the technical skill set that you can attain would be more towards the developer side as compared to the marketing cloud. Side. When you talk about opportunities, uh, there are a lot of people out there, especially in India, who uh, are really looking forward for uh, on-site opportunities. Uh, then, in that situation, uh, marketing cloud would be a better option because, uh, again, the demand and supply ratio. There are uh, very, there are very, very less people out there, um, uh, like on shore as well, who are uh, not marketing cloud experts or marketing cloud uh, developers or marketing cloud professionals, uh, as there are in India. And uh, there are like uh, the when it comes to Salesforce developer, it's already saturated market. You can get more on-site opportunities being a marketing cloud developer or marketing cloud expert. rather than being a salesforce developer raghav has also asked me one question that uh, whether it would be easier for me to switch uh, from a salesforce developer to being a micro- marketing cloud professional or from uh, being a marketing cloud professional to a salesforce developer 
So the answer to that is uh, if you really want to switch from either one of them to the other one, it's not going to be easier when it uh, comes to the skill set. If you'll be having an experience or if you'll be accustomed to doing a certain thing for a long duration, it would be definitely difficult for you to switch to the another one because they are not like not same they are not exact things to do Market, being a marketing market professional is completely different it's more of a, a person who solves the business problems by implementing the solutions uh, on a particular platform while being a salesforce developer is just about creating custom functionalities on top of the top of the platform while integrating different different stuff or uh, while creating a like custom code from scratch so that's what you do in both of these profiles but uh, a marketing cloud professional or let's let's call it that uh, in this way not all the marketing cloud developers can be a salesforce developer but a salesforce developer can any day become a marketing cloud professional so that's how i need to sum up this case now about the offers that you've got of being a Salesforce developer and being a marketing cloud uh, professional. Go through all of the points that I just described and figure out what matters to you the most. If the compensation matters to you the most, go for being a marketing cloud professional. If the long term growth and uh, uh, like the technical skill set that you're going to attain and uh, problem solving approach uh, is something that you're excited about on, on a day to day basis, go for uh, Salesforce developer. Uh, if you if you really want on-site opportunities, go for marketing cloud professionals. And I know I'm making it difficult for you, but that's the only choice that I have, Raghav. You have also asked me to compare between both the organizations, Deloitte as well as uh, Wipro Perio. Uh, to be very honest, I've worked in neither one of them, so I'm not sure how the culture is into uh, both of these companies and how the work goes on, how, how the opportunities and how is the growth in both of these companies. It would be better for you to ask the people who are already working into these companies uh, if you want to know about the culture and the uh, growth aspects and the opportunities aspect. But uh, what I would recommend and suggest you to do is uh, that rather than like comparing the companies or the organizations, you should compare the role that you're getting in uh, any one of them. Based on that only you should make your decision because that's going to matter the most uh, in a long term rather than just the organization. And that's all about the comparison between a Salesforce developer as well as a marketing cloud professional. Uh, with that, we'll sign off. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet done so. Uh, make sure to hit that bell icon as well. If you want to be the first one to get notified whenever we post a new video. And we post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday uh, on the Salesforce Hulk channel. And uh, if you guys also have some question related to anything uh, which is subscribed with Salesforce or which is which can be related to Salesforce or anything related to your career or anything literally that you want to ask me, you can just go on to LinkedIn, just write down uh, a post over there with, with Ask the Hulk hashtag and you can directly ask me that question over there. Catch you guys in the next one. Till then, bye-bye.